Welcome back to some spooky Halloween garland making. In this video, as you can see, we'll be making a super, well, cute or creepy bat, whatever kind of bat you want to make, that's fine. Um, I find bats quite cute, so I'm happy to say that it's a cute bat, but you might think differently. Um, so you're just going to start by doing the outline. The the bat's going to have, you know, some a couple of big ears, you're going to have the bat's face and some big wings. We're not going to go into much else than that. You're going to have a little tuft of hair on the bottom, a little tuft of hair on the top of the head and the side. Um, and you're going to, of course, have your little hanging bit on top. Um, so just go ahead and draw it in. You might want to have some quite big wings. So this might take up a full A4 sheet of paper, but um, you can make it as big as you like. So just go ahead and start cutting out when you are quite happy with your bat design. You can make it as detailed as you like. Maybe you don't really want it to have tufts of hair in the bottom and that's totally fine as well. So you're going to have your um, little upside down triangle hanging piece on top of the right ear. Um, so it's, it's going to set like a, a bit of an angle, like he's kind of flying away. So that's it, that's it all cut out. So the next bit we're going to do is we're going to start drawing the little inside parts of his ear. Um, I would recommend a pink colour but it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, so you're just going to kind of draw the ear bits in just a, a wee bit smaller than your tracing of the ear and you're going to have them you know shaped around the face. So the one on the left side you're going to have a bit of a, a flatter finish on the bottom and the one on the right is going to be a point. I'll show you what I mean by this in a second. So that one on the right is going to have a point on the bottom and the one on the left is going to be curved as though representing this shape of his head as you can see there. You might want to cut it so it kind of fits around what you would imagine to be his, his head there. Um, so once you're happy just go ahead and stick that down. And next you're going to be drawing in his little love heart nose. Just cut that out and if you're not happy with the size of it just do it again or you know cut it a bit smaller or draw it a bit larger but you're just going to sit that in the centre of his face there. And the next thing we're going to do is his eyes. So maybe pick out a couple of giggly eyes that you want to use and then draw around these but you're going to have the shape quite overly so you're going to want the eye to be sitting in the middle of that but with some space on the top of the bottom, so more of an oval shape. And you want the eyes to be the same size, so maybe draw them together like I have there. So when you're drawing it, it might look like a, a number eight, but you're going to cut them apart. There we go, and you're going to have them so the tops are kind of pointing in towards each other. So they're going to be sitting at a bit of a slant. and you're just going to go ahead and glue your eyes right on there. There we go. And then we're just going to draw in some pointy little teeth. The teeth are quite small to cut out so just beware of fingers um, and just stick them in place. See if you want them to go, maybe you want them to be a bit bigger. Whatever you think. And once you're happy, just go ahead and stick those down. So the next thing we're going to do, um, as you can see in the top bat, he's kind of got a little bit of um, red tuft of hair underneath his chin. Um, it doesn't have to be red, maybe you want to go for a purple or a different colour and entirely and that's fine. So I've went for a kind of maroony red colour for, for his little tuft of hair and I've made the, the wings the same colour. So we'll just kind of see how it fits. You want it to, to look like it's resting under his chin, um, like it's on his chest. So 
And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start tracing the bat's wings so we can cut out the little inside parts of those. You're going to have to closely follow the little tuft of hair on the side of the space so you want so you want the part where the wing begins to follow that line. Um, just watch and you'll see. So I'm just trying to get the shape in the right kind of place. And then just going to draw the wings a little bit smaller than the black shape. This might take a couple times just to get it right. Um, but don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you can kind of see his little tuft of, of hair. And the same with the other side of the wing. You're just going to cut it a bit smaller. So you can still see the black outline around that. And you're just going to try and fit it into place. That one seems fine. This one's maybe just a little bit trickier. So we'll just see how it fits. Yeah, I think that looks much better. Oh. Yeah. Happy with that. It looks a lot better. There we go. So the last thing we're going to do is just going to add in a couple of little details. So you're going to take a black pen and you're just going to draw a couple of lines just like that. It makes the, the ears look like they've got a bit of a 3D effect going on and a couple of lines over the wings. And that's our bat ready. That was maybe a little bit more of a tricky one, but let's see how you got on. I think the outcome's really great. So I'd love to see how you guys got on. So don't forget to send us some photos and I'll see you soon.